All righty. Welcome back in. So, Spiral Staircase. Uh, I believe I have finally figured out the easiest way to do this to make it reliably reproducible so that you don't look at it and be like, oh, God, that's way too complicated. And there's two different methods. Now, I'm going to put a link down below uh, description. I'll probably pin the comment as well of how I got the inspiration to do this. It was a, a post on Discord, Chewy's Corner, something like that. Uh, he showed a couple pictures of how he did it. Uh, what I was missing the entire time is doing two treads. The video I had linked yesterday for the staircase uh, video where I said I tried to replicate what they did using this uh, shelf in their st spiral. It was so complicated that I... That's the thing. We want easy, right? We're all just adults building with digital Legos. We don't want something that's hard. And I believe I have found the absolute easiest way to do this. Now, the two different methods are tight spiral and loose spiral. Both have their benefits. Both have their problems. The benefit of the tight spiral, as you can see, I am uh, snuggled around just one column. A one by one column, I should say. And this is the... Uh, the palm wood looks fantastic. One of the drawbacks is I can't go up unless I'm clear on this outer edge. Um, it also, you kind of just fall down it. You don't really walk down it. But if space is an issue and it's more of an aesthetic reason why you need it to be tight, then you could do it this way. And I'm, I'm going to show you both. The other issue is the... It's so tight, it's cannibalizing itself. So down here, I started right up against the... I started with a one-by-one. One. Up here, it's almost consumed probably 60% of that one-by-one. One. So if you're doing a 90 degree, I think it's fine. It may probably a 180. So like you do a 90 degree up to the next level or a 180 up to the next level and then start from that level to go to the next. I think it's fine. But if you just want to go a spiral staircase all the way up a wizard tower, I don't think either one of these are going to work for you. So the loose tower works best with a two by two column. And this one, you it's, it's very easy to go up and you actually walk down pretty well. It's not perfect, but you're, you're not falling down the stairs like you are with the tight staircase. Same issue with this, except this one's traveling away from the column. So at a 90, you've got a little bit of a gap. If you go up to 180, you're going to have a fairly decent gap by the time you get there. So once again, going all the way up a tower, you're going to have some problems once you get up there. But we're going to step over here, and I'm going to build this for you. It is very, very easy. I'm going to start with a reference point on both. So let's start with the loose. We're going to put that right there. We have just a nice little reference, actually. Let's, yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. So we're going to go in here. I'm going to grab some nice little blocks here. And the way I'm going to start this is I'm going to line it up to where it just, just touches. That's it. We just want it to touch. I like that. And now I'm going to set the line this up. Now you don't want to actually overlap it really. You just kind of want to get it nice, nice and neat. Just like that. Very simple. Nothing special. Now we're going to go up to the next level. We're going to rotate just one. Oh, I hate when it does that. Just one. Now, this is going to be the loose setup. You are going to go to where the closest point to my foot right now is halfway on the second block. So do you see right there how the point is coming right to the half mark? Right there. Now, the problem is... Now I can't push this up here. So the easiest way I've found to do this, and this only is for the loose. I'm going to hit X to take that off. So we're going to come up, and I'm going to give myself a spot. Uh, literally, it's like having a spotter. Come back in here, and then I'm going to be able to place this. Just like that. Once again, we're going to go one. We're going to go till this is halfway across the second tread if I'm not standing in the way of course now you can just hit this hit Y to get rid of that one and then we can place the next one what you don't want to do is cover the space too much so I just just like that's fine 
I just need enough room so that I can get this on here. I wish they stack. You know, the devs really need to fix the fact that everything stacks in different amounts. Even in the same categories. Benches stack differently. These stack to three, some stack to five. It just, it's like there's no quality control happening at all. Sorry, that's a little vent on my end. All right, so about right there. So do it again. Oh, stop doing that. That happens when you don't release the the button before you click, and it yeah, it's annoying. So we're gonna get here. We're gonna center this just like that. Click on our want that Y. Take this out again. Not that block. How do I get to that block? Just there. That works. Happy, happy. And you're going to continue up like this. And that's it. This is it. This is all you do all the way up. And this is the loose. So I'm going to go to this, go to that, click on that. And, and it works just fine. You can take... So this is just a singular block. But what you would end up doing is coming down here. And you would pop a full-size block. And it looks fantastic. So now let me show you how to do the tight pattern. So we're going to start with one again. The tight pattern does not require any kind of support, but it gets a little difficult once you start getting up there. It will actually overlap just a hair to the point that at right at the, the top step, it starts to do that shimmer right there. It does it right at the top step. So 90 degrees, in my opinion, is the furthest you want to go. Now, this time we're doing the opposite. This corner now that's going to be touching my foot, I want on the inside corner. Nice and tight against this inside corner. In fact, I'm going to even go as far as get rid of this so I can see that corner better. I just wanted that to make sure I'm putting it so that I can stick a column because you can sit these anywhere. Do do do. Number two. All right. So I want it right on that corner. Nice and tight. So that that is our pivot is right there. Instead of our pivot being based off of half of this second, which you can see it's already traveling upward. This is going to be based real tight on that corner. Let me just get it up here. Right there. And now that's that piece. And then we're going to go up again. This one requires no extra support, but you will need to be able to jump up onto something. So once again, get right in that corner. One more level up and I'm going to have to put a, something I could jump on. Right there. As you can see, it, st it stopped me because you have to go on the outside. So it's... It's it's pick your poison, I guess, is the way to say it. You jerk. Nice in the corner. So now I need a support to stand on because I can't get that on top. Because these rest down. They're sitting on something, not sitting against something like shelving are. This is the faster staircase to do. Not B. Are than the other type, than the loose. But like I said, both have their own problems. Put this on here. Right there. Oh, we've just got one more to go, I think. Might be two. Nope, one more. And then we'll be up. So this is a full 90. And by looking at my watch, it looks like I did this in about two minutes. And that's just me with talking and conversing. And there you go. So now I can place my corner piece... Like that. And there you go. 
very easy to do. Okay, so there there is a way that you can walk down. It's kind of like turn as you're coming down. So that's your tight staircase, and this is your loose staircase. So it really depends on the aesthetic of your building, what you're trying to achieve. In my opinion, 90 degree is better than uh, going to like 180 degree, meaning coming up here and then doing it all again, because it's going to get a little wonky on how far it actually travels, either consuming in on itself or traveling outward and getting away from your column. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.